just for those of you who are asking spider cat spider cat she's been very elusive recently haven't you so i'm just going to take the tractor to toppings um it's just got a slight wind noise on the door um and they said if i drop it in they'll just have a look for me okay so i'm just gonna nip this to toppings and um and then i'm gonna take a lamb into nursery because we all know children love lambs and yeah every time i've had something small and cute and farmy i've taken it into nursery and they have loved it Hiccups in the driveway and somebody slams that rusty old screen door. There's always something missing. I'm going shopping, Roy. Look at this bad boy. He shouldn't set me off places, really, should he? And it's got a baby brother. Look. This is a, um, a 6230 TTV Deutsch. It's cool. It's massive. <laughs> Look at the size of it. It doesn't do it justice because I'm sitting in it. Trust me, it's massive. There's always something in the oven. Someone's always on the phone. I feel really very small right now. Four steps big, that's how big it is. <laughs> it's this big. <laughs> it's massive. <laughs> so this little one that I'm in now, this tiny little one, a 6135 RV shift. Look at this really cute little gear knob. I like this. That's got this all is the joint buttons, so you can use your linkage off it. You can set your PTO buttons to it. You can this is more my kind of size. Look at this to keep it clean. That's amazing. Simple things. Why do people let me loose in tractors? They do realise how dangerous this is, don't they? <laughs> I am the most unlikely accidental tractor tester ever. Ever. But do you know what? If I can drive it... Your six year old can drive it. No place like home, no place like home, no place like home, no place like home. <laughs> oh my god, this is nice! This is nice! It's fairly effortless, like it's not taking anything, it's just like steady and it feels really sturdy. Like this is cute, this is cute, I like it. So this is similar to our Valtra. Um, obviously I'm comparing it um, unfairly as it is brand new and I shouldn't be. Looking for the um, the hand throttle. That's the only thing when going between. Like you go, what? Yeah, I do. What's that? Oh, I found it. I found the hand throttle. It's here. Look. Nice. See, I would have thought that was something to do with the arms, just because it's next to those buttons. But fair enough. Fair enough. I like this. This is good. Right. So if I. Anyway, it took 10 seconds. 
I never thought I'd be a Deutsch fan. I always had it in my head, if you can't pronounce it, don't buy it. I take it back. I'm really not made out for doing this today. Can you can you tell that I wasn't um I wasn't expecting any of this? I have no makeup on and I'm doing a video full face frontal. Right, indicate Charlotte, use your indicators. I show why he's gonna have to come and see it. We're having an open day, Sunday, 10 till 4, toppings open day. Get yourself down here and have a look because this will be there. I'm, it's so embarrassing pulling in front of a yard full of like fellas that drive tractors for a living and you're not very good at it. Like, seriously, this is like nerve wracking stuff. Seriously, I'm not putting it back in its parking space, they can get lost like at all. <laughs> I'll let them reverse it in the cells. I'm not making an ass of myself. I like it. What do I do? Oh, it's got a cool handbrake. Do you want to see? Are you ready? It's got like a little novel. How cool is that? Good grief. They outlawed ashtrays in cars years ago. You still get them in tractors. The ultimate test of all tractors. Are you ready? Oh, does it have a stay down? I don't think it has a stay down. Mm. Mm. Now I know you shouldn't judge a tractor on the passenger seat, but mm. The material's durable, I will have you. Yes, the material is durable, but whether or not it is the comfiest, ask your girlfriends. They'll tell you. Oh, your boyfriends. No, your um, non-binary um, friends. Show me his baby, look at this. You come to these places and all the men want to show you the babies. What's that? What's that? What's that? Oh, we have none of that at our house. Look at look at this for keeping your balls on. This is cool. No toolboxes here. And I'd even go as far as to say that that is a stylish top link, a stylish one. Look at that. It's got curves. An airline, you can pump your tires up with it. That's exciting. This is the very, very latest model. Look at this. very snazzy it's a slightly bigger cab than the one i was just in that i drove look at these fancy light things here they're nice oh yeah and a little tv screen if you want to watch friends in all seriousness you can set all your um like all your implements up and things from that i, I didn't even know that i thought it was to watch telly on they're playing on snake or something <laughs> this is an in-betweeny tractor i like it Oh, look at this. It's got like snazzy radios. Oh, oh, it's nice. It's nice. It's got a sunroof. Look at the stars. Oh, it's like coming home. It's put air in my seat. I can't touch the floor. Ready? That's a, wow. That's amazing. Spider cat, spider cat. You're making a lot of appearances today. Sunday, 10 to four. Celebrating 40 years. Tractors and stuff, you know. I think me, Roy and uh, Tom Barker might land down. Maybe a bit of Alicia if she's free and she'll be seen with us because we're sad losers and she's really cool. A Winnie Hoof, Winnie Hoof, Winnie Hoof, Hoof Hoof has had his balls off today, everybody. Um, he's recovering from surgery and we can go and pick him up. Which now means he can play in the garden with Nellie Gray and we're not worried that he's going to catch her. So I am just going to find out what carnage 
is in the fields after last night's rain as you can see down there like the streams over and i bet the river's pretty high as well if i'm honest um yeah so keep you updated That's very, very naughty, you two. <laughs> They're lying like in the hedgerows. And then when I double fence everything for stewardship, there's going to be nowhere for lambs to lie. Like that's proper downside that. And I know you don't think of it, but when you're first hand watching them lie dry in a wet field, you realise that you're going to stop that shelter by double fencing everything to protect nature. And you're like, yeah, but it's bloody good shelter for lambs. And I know they pull the bottoms out of the hedges and stuff. I know they do. That's way worse. I need to catch it. God. In a day. Jesus. And I tried it yesterday morning. Sore. How do I get it though? So I am just doing the iodine in the cow's water. So these are iodine tablets and they go in the underneath on the ball cock uh, of the water and they dispense into the water. It's one towel, one, one towel, one towel per towel, no, one tablet per cow per week. And I'll literally just show you. I'm just going to tie it here. That's, and I hope the cows don't actually notice it. So I've just tied that around there. It sits in the water and it dispenses out. Our cows are extremely short of iodine. We have bolus them as well. And um, that was mostly for like pre-calving. And these are for just keeping them generally fit because there are so many things so many things that can be associated with um, an iodine deficiency. As of last night, the water table is extreme. Like that's, yeah, that's deep, man. Like, <laughs> let me show you. Right, I'm on the fly. Are you? <gasps> right, no. That's just, that's just crazy. The chickens are completely flooded. I've had to let them out. Um, I think there's actually a tide in this puddle. It is that big. Get a move on, will you? We've only been waiting all night. Where are you up to? Let's have a look, see. Oh, we've got a lot of fur. Uh, I'll maybe just have a look, see, I think. Only purely because of the amount uh, discharge coming out of there. I'll just have a little look, see. Honestly, I love it when this happens. Look at them. Flashback to last night's lambing, um, where I dealt with a pretty grotesque prolapse. So if you're soft, scroll on for the next three minutes and just fast forward. It's about half two. I was watching the camera in bed. As you can tell, I am asleep. Um, raining, it's miserable, and I thought, oh, one of the sheep's lambed. And then I thought, oh, there's another one lambing. No. That idiot from yesterday has pushed out a full on prolapse. So we're having a 2 a.m. lesson in vaginal prolapses. The joys. 
Not very nice shape. <laughs> So that'll just keep her, like basically the sleeve. It'll keep it the right way, you know, the right way in and stop it folding inside out on itself. So it won't hurt her, it's not brutal. Um, definitely not um, what I posted on uh, Instagram before. Let me find it for you, hold on and, and I'll post it. It was brutal. This is how they used to sort prolapses out. Wow, wow, like God, it was crazy. Mm, did I just bath a lamb to take to school? Nursery even, nursery, not school. Yes, don't back into the tractor. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. It's now in a towel because it's not dry because Charlotte doesn't have enough time in the day. <sighs> right, go, go, go. Come on, lamb, let's go. <laughs> the children need educating. Back British farming. This lamb is spreading the word. Just you and your own homemade, homegrown, no place like home. Oh. So I have just been to um, nursery where the, both of these two went. Um, we try and do it every time we've got lambs with us. Um, just to show the younger kids a bit about farming and stuff. And I know it's nothing technical. There was no, you know, questions or anything. It was more like, um, you know, why has it got a nappy on? Because it'll wee on your floor, that kind of thing. Um, but I think it's totally worth doing. And yeah, I hope they, I don't know. I hope they got um, just up close and personal with a farm animal, which is something that, you know, I think every child should have a chance to do. To be fair, I think um, this is its vocation in life, just to be a lap lamb. Wow. What happened? What happened? Oh. Oh, what happened? I'm not... I'm just going to put him in the stable for now. Um, just because he wouldn't be able to get out of his hole in his um in his door so <laughs> who took your balls what happened oh the nasties oh the nasty pasties oh he feels quaggy right say to everyone we're gonna go now and make this video don't forget to like share subscribe I feel terrible, but actually, um, he wouldn't be able to fit through the hole to get out of his kennel. So he's better off in there for a night. And at least he's got a nice straw comfy bed. Roy's been to the vets to get rubber castration rings because I was running out. And um, four things of blue spray because no doubt we will need them and I've run out. Very handy stuff and you can only get it from a vets. Just a quick FYI, uh, Roy's just ordered... Um, Red Diesel, it's 77.1, just so you know, just for your information. So, Roy's just come in and said there's a website called boilerjuice.com, boilerjuice.com, and um, it's got live diesel prices on it, red diesel prices and diesel, diesel prices. Um, we nearly ordered it the other day at 84. Thank God we didn't, and thank God he looked at that. So, it's 20 pence a litre different to the last lot that we got in January that we put in the tank. It's got to be a good thing for us, hasn't it? Like I said, first, uh, coming down, coming down, we've provisionally ordered. 
So um, we'll, when the feed bill comes at the end of the month, we'll check to see if feed's gone down. So we've got fuel going down, fertiliser going down, feed going down. They are our three biggest costs on a farm. But also the product that we produce is going. So as of the other day, and I've taken this from um, Rebecca Wilson, Becca Farms, uh, her Instagram. Um, it was the AHDB price and it was 201.50 it was um, for per tonne of wheat. And um, that meant that they were um, they were running in a negative. They were, they were just weren't making anything from it, um, especially when if you think prices have been so high for everything else, and then obviously things are dropping now. Well, you've already paid out your fertilizer, your fuel, your feed at those high prices, so people just aren't making any money. Um, God, it's such a bloody tricky situation, isn't it? It really is. Uh, but we can just keep fingers crossed that things will get better, can't we? pray for good weather honestly just pray for good weather because it is oh god it was wet last night wasn't it and pray for me making this video because those two are making me watch peppa pig the best tv series in the world oh god pray for me guys bye i'll see you tomorrow